The condition of your heart determines the direction of your life. It's very important that you walk in the direction of the Lord Jesus Christ. The story of the prodigal son. And Jesus said, a man had two sons. The younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the share of the estate that falls to me. So he divided his wealth between them. Not many days later, the younger son gathered everything together and went on a journey into a distant country. And there he squandered his estate with loose living. Now when he had spent everything, a severe famine occurred in that country, and he began to be impoverished. So he went and hired himself out to one of the citizens of that country, and he sent him into the fields to feed swine. He would have gladly filled his stomach with the pods that the swine were eating, and no one was giving him anything. But when he came to his senses, he said, how many of my father's hired men have more than enough to eat, and I'm dying here with hunger. I will get up, I'll go on to my father, and I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in your sight. No longer worthy to be called your son. Make me one of your hired servants. So he got up, came to his father, but while he was still a long way off, his father saw him, felt compassion for him, ran and embraced him and kissed him. And the son said to him, Father, I've sinned against heaven and in your sight. I'm no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his slaves, quickly bring out the best robe, put it on him, put a ring on his hand and sandals on his feet, bring the fatted calf, we get ready to have a big party. It's the condition of your heart that determines where you are and what's going on in your life. If the condition of my heart determines the direction of my life, where am I walking? Where am I headed? That's always a step in the wrong direction if you forget that the condition of your heart will determine the direction of your life. The devil is very careful to make you believe that your choice minus God is the beginning of real life. Listen, Satan's always pointing to something you don't have. Satan always paints pictures that he knows gets your attention. That's the downward steps away from Almighty God. Satan always blinds your mind to the effects and the nature of sin and its consequences at the moment. Satan never says, how much money are you gonna have when I get through with you? That's the devil's way of catching so many people. Living in sin, disobeying God, and having plenty for the moment. Sin always brings you to a point of total dissatisfaction. Satan never tells you what's coming because he wants to destroy you. You can't plan on the devil's traps. He's going to take you down in one way or the other. People listen to the lie of the devil. The devil, he, he is a master at closing your ears to the truth. Wherever you're living without God in your life, it may look like it's good. You may have everything you want, but if you are spiritually without God, you're still in a hog pen. You're not gonna be happy. You're not gonna find any peace, no joy. You can't make enough money. You can't have a big enough idea about yourself. You can't have enough status because the Spirit of God is gonna work in your heart and convict you of sin. And as long as you listen to the devil, as long as you refuse to surrender your life to God, it's just gonna get worse and worse and worse. Where are you in this downward track? Are you satisfied where you are now? Do you know how to get out of this? 
I want to remind you this, that God hasn't stopped loving you. You may be unfit to be hugged, unfit to be kissed. You may be unfit for anything in your eyes, but God still loves you. Many people need to come to their senses. The Holy Spirit of God will work on you, work on you, work on you, work on you, and remind you of, of God's offer of love because God's love for you has not ceased. The Heavenly Father loves you. He'll change your life seated right where you are right now. He'll cleanse you. He'll straighten up your life. He'll make you a new person. Are you willing to receive Him as your Savior and your Lord? You're totally forgiven. He'll save you from the mess you've made of your life if you let Him.